Hello everyone and welcome to Action RPG. I'm your host Aaron and it's Sunday so you know what that means. It's time for my weekly news roundup for week 32. Lots of good stories, lots of good news, and like always everything is time stamped in the description below if you want to bounce around to your favorite articles. Now I've been saying it for every video. I have officially started a Twitch. It is the first link in the description below if you want to go over there and support me. I've been live streaming three or four times a week. An official schedule will be coming out shortly. This Monday at 1 p.m. Pacific Standard Time, I have already put out a community post with all the information on it. I will be doing a stream playing Last Epoch and we will be doing our first giveaway. My first 50 subscribers on Twitch have been entered to win a custom action RPG hat in the purple variant signed if they want to and get a free copy of Last Epoch. Don't miss that stream. It should be a whole lot of fun. All right. As always, I will share my thoughts. Please feel free to share yours in the comment section below and don't forget to subscribe to support smaller channels. All right, let's jump right into this. Our first story takes us to the world of Bless Unleashed, which is officially out right now for PC. I have multiple members in my Discord, in my community that are playing this game right now and having so much fun. And I'm gonna show you the official launch trailer in just one second. We just started the video, be patient. We had the chance to sit down with Round 8 Studios about the PC version. We asked if the PC version was a straight port and if the PC version will have content parity with the console versions. Answer. The development of PC and console updates will proceed in the same way as possible. However, as mentioned in the question, the PC platform update may be slightly faster and minor differences may occur. As for PC release, new content not yet released on console will be shown first, but these contents will soon be followed on the console in some months. What does all that mean, Aaron? Let me answer. Whenever content or updates or something comes, they are saying it will come to PC first, which is a great answer. I love it. All we care about is PC. Enjoy the official launch trailer for Bless Unleashed. I will open that door. It's time for revenge. You're no match for me. I'll crush you. new game that I want to start adding to my normal news cycle is titled Elyon, and this is a new MMO we are going to be getting in the future, and it looks like it's getting a CB2, which just stands for Closed Beta Test 2, and some new PvP features are coming in three different modes. Check this out. The first mode is called Captain Battle, which two teams of three face off. However, it's a bit different in that you select which player on your team fights first, second, and third. Then you fight the enemy in a 1v1 battle. This means if you are selected third, there's a chance you won't fight because your other teammates have finished off the enemy team. The second PVP mode is called Honor, uh, Honor Arena. This will include matchmaking with two players as you face off in gl gladiatorial combat in a 3VP, 3v3 mode. The final PVP mode is called Brawler Arena. Here you'll fight here you'll be able to fight against players of your own faction without any penalties. So basically like a skirmish, which is actually a whole lot of fun. And a lot of times when you get bored in an MMO, all you want to do is just fight your friends. So I actually really, really like that. Elyon, what do you guys all think of this game? Have you even heard of it? Anybody out there playing Baldur's Gate 3 and mad that the NPCs won't die? Well, don't worry, there is a new hot fix for you. BG3 NPCs will no longer rise from the dead. A hotfix is now available on Steam that addresses an issue related to NPCs. For example, one such issue it fixes is the pesky matter of NPCs fleeing from you after using the Wild Shape ability. Another one down here in the actual patch notes, it is right here, fixed a certain NPCs rising from the dead after specific dialogues. 
You might think that that is part of the game. It is not. It is a bug and it now should be fixed. Moving over to the world of Path of Exile and its Expedition League, which has now received its first major patch since it dropped. This patch is focused around quality of life and major bug fixes. Check this out. We've now received the first patch notes for the impending patch, which is now out, which brings in several quality of life improvements along with a swath of bug fixes. For example, the improvements include the addition of vendor recipes for converting and stilling orbs to enkindling orbs. Additionally, the quality on the divergent flamethrower trap skill gem no longer grants 0 to 20% increased cast speed and now grants 0 to 20% increased trap throwing speed. Ooh. Now, in this article for MMORPG.com, it only gives you a little bit, but we all know how Grinding Gear Games does it. Check this out. This is 3.15.1. Look at this update. Scrolling. Scrolling. That's where we're at. Pretty big improvement. Anybody out there even still playing the Expedition League? Now we have to talk about some unfortunate news, some bad news, probably some news that you expected. New World is delayed again, now launching September 28th. So basically what Amazon Game Studios is doing is they're pushing it back one month. And remember that this game has already been delayed a year, but I think at this point, since they just had their beta, people are okay with that one month. At least the people in my Discord community seem like the game probably needs it. Now, this is the official communication right here. And I'm not going to read the whole thing. The first paragraph is basically saying, thank you for all the feedback. There's millions and millions of people playing. And the last paragraph is saying, thank you for all the feedback and your patience. The middle paragraph is what's important. Along the way, you've also given us a ton of feedback that we'll use to make New World even better. We want New World's launch to be a smooth and fun experience for all players, and that means making some improvements based on what you encountered during closed beta. So we're going to take a few extra weeks to smash bugs, improve stability, and polish the game. New World's new global launch date is September 28th, 2021. And again, you would think that people would be outraged about this because they've already been waiting for so long, but for the most part, they're not. Like, they feel like it's expected. People that played the closed beta had a whole lot of fun, but they did give a lot of feedback about problems, including everybody with their 3090s and the game bricking their GPUs, which are crazy stories. But still, this game does need some polish, and I actually think in this situation, it was the right decision. The developers of Crowfall continue to try and hold on to the player base they have and bring some players back that have already left it. Crowfall Talks the Shadow Update addresses conquest scoring issue in Dreg's camp campaign. Now, I don't think a lot of people have actually played this MMO. It has been in development for years. It actually had a huge buzz. It had a huge Kickstarter, and you can now play it. I've had some people in my Discord play it, and they were high on the game at the beginning, and then they're like, oh yeah, like, no, it's not very good. And I'm actually going to play the launch trailer for you in a second. It's only a minute long, just in case you haven't heard of it or seen it. I feel like a lot of you haven't. So let's see what they're talking about right here. Going forward, we have adopted a new minimum requirement of 100 conquest points to qualify for the conquest reward. These points are gained by holding stronghold by holding strongholds, including outpost forts, keeps, and castles in game. The reward criteria will be updated in the Dregs campaign now live to the correct levels. The current conquest reward in game is an is a placeholder pending this update. We also reduce our shadow campaign rewards to about half the current level live in today's launch of the Shadow 3 faction campaign. This will happen by the end of this week. Now, most of you are probably saying, what does that mean? And that would be a good question because I haven't played this game, so I can't even tell you what that means. But I can tell you that there are people in my Discord that are playing Crowfall and can break it down for you. Go to the link in the description to join my Discord if you have any questions. Now enjoy the launch trailer for Crowfall. We are crows, eternal warriors chosen by the gods. It is for them we fight. Always one step ahead of the force devouring our universe. This world will die, consumed by the hunger, but we will move on to the next. Other crows challenge us for our glory, our wealth, our power. There are many paths to victory. Our choices determine the fate of our kingdom. Through 
our alliances, we have all the strength we need to defend all that we have conquered. They may breach our walls, but they will not capture this castle. I will defend it to the end of this life and with every life after. This week in Last Epoch News, we found out more information about what is coming for 0.8.3 in the form of new armor and models for the Primalist. Check this out. I also made an entire video side by side earlier in the week, and I will link that at the end of this video. So here's the actual new model for the Primalist right here. Obviously, a hundred times better than what we have. Then you can check out the new armor set right here. Obviously, it's very, very small. You can see it here in the corner. Again, 100 times better than what we have. And then finally, the actual armor set, a different armor, armor set with the helmet. And then here is the actual in-game render of this set right here. Now, I mean, when you look at this, you're probably like, oh, I mean, it looks okay. Like, you know, it's going to look way better when you're playing, especially if you're playing at 1440 or 4K. These look like 1080p images. Actually, they are right here when you see it. So when I did the side by side, if you saw what we had now, I'm telling you, this is gonna blow you away. Last but not least, unfortunately, I've got a little bit of bad news. Evil Dead, the game delayed to February, 2022. This game looks so much fun. Saber Interactive and Boss Team Games have announced that Evil Dead, the game has been delayed to February, 2022 to give the team extra time to polish the game and to add single player options. The delay was confirmed on Twitter with the team sharing the news alongside reassuring fans that this will allow them to create the ultimate Evil Dead experience you've been waiting for. Now, what I'm gonna do, because maybe you haven't seen this, is allow the Evil Dead game trailer to actually take out this video. So even though it's a little bit of bad news, at least you get to see the awesome trailer, which is good news, or at least it'll make you feel better. Don't forget, this coming Monday, tomorrow, I will be streaming my giveaway on Twitch, 1 p.m. Pacific Standard Time. I have already dropped a community information post on that. If you haven't joined the official Action RPG Discord, please do so. We're now over a thousand members, great conversations every day. The idea is to create a gaming community that could jump from game to game together so you never start the server alone. Link for that Discord is in the description. I hope you all enjoyed Weekly News Roundup 32. Hopefully you're entertained or at least learn something. Aaron, out. I had a real life once. I had a wonderful girlfriend, Linda. Together we drove to a small cabin in the mountains. Necronomicon Ex Mortis, the book of the dead. <laughs> it seems an archaeologist had come to this remote place to translate and study his latest find. It was never meant for the world of the living. The book awoke something dark in the woods. It took Linda. And then it came for me.